The vampire hunters, brazen as they were, feared to walk these paths. I knew one spirit haunted this place. Perhaps there were others as well. This takes place 500 years after Kane's trip through, uh... What? Seriously? 500 years after Kane's trip to, uh, the Pope's house stop. It's weird. This seems a time is kind of, uh, I guess, a matter of confusion. sconces seemed as though they would ignite. If only I had a fire source. Huh. Well, Kane figured it out, but he already had the power for it. We don't have a fire reaver right now, so... Oh, it is a little screwed up, because back in Soul Reaver, you gained the ability for the reaver to take on the power of the flame. But, uh, no. that power's been lost, apparently. Repeatedly lost. <laughs> that didn't do it. Hey, what do you know? Climbing. I guess some stuff could have changed since, um, in the 500 years. I also like, we can get in through here because, you know, we have the light for uh, corpses. Die, jumps. Aha. of them to stop fighting me for a second and let me go through the door.
Ah, oh, warp gates. Gotta love warp gates. Yeah. This look familiar? What the hell was that? There we go. No. Uh, maybe I gotta pull it. Stuff. I don't quite remember how to finish this puzzle. So I'm just gonna fuck around with it for a little bit, and then before I go and consult the strategy guide. Raziel is trying to go in to consult Ariel, the, the former Balance Guardian. She had been killed uh, about 30 years, or maybe around 30 years prior to the start of the first Blood Omen. Killed by Northern the Circle. And that was the. basically like the catalyst for the events of the game in a certain respect. Because it was as a result of her death that the madness overtook the, the, the corruption, corrupted the pillars and all that crap. I sought to unravel the mystery of my fate, and in this image lay my first clue. For this scene depicted the forging of the Reaver, the weapon destined to become my prison, and I recognized its maker. The years had changed him, but this was unmistakably the vampire Vorador, and in this era, he still lived. If I could reach him before Mobius's mob hunted him down, he would provide the answers I sought. These images chronicled Vorador's creation. As I already knew, he had not been born a vampire, but had been turned by the infamous Janos Ordrin. But this mural suggested that Vorador's origins were even more significant. Apparently, he was the first human to whom the Dark Gift had been passed. This was the vampire's desperate bid to preserve their bloodline for their enemies had cursed them not only with bloodthirst, but with sterility as well. Rather amazing Raziel was able to piece that together based on an image in a mural. But yes, Vordor was the forger of the Reaver, and he was the first human granted the blood curse by the vampires. Essentially making him by the time of the game uh, Blood Omen, the oldest vampire in existence. Also the reason why he was so much more powerful at the time. He was just that much more older, much older, that much more powerful, and experienced and all that crap.
so it seems as though the Hilden, their blood curse, gave the vampires not just immortality but sterility, and that was a bit of a problem because, well, I mean, even in a mortal race like vampires, the vampires will never die on that. They're just, uh, it's like semi-immortal. They, they can be killed, but they won't die. They even... There we go. Even if they will never die of natural causes, that doesn't mean that that's a sustainable way to continue their race. Whoa! So beast. Do I need a different griever to kill these things? Not Come on! Ah, suck! You can't sustain that uh, shit in this uh, spectral realm. Worth paying attention to the health. Uh, where is that corpse I can jump into? Eh, might as well jump through here. You can't sustain their bloodline, even if they are immortal. They'll eventually slowly die one by one, until there are none left. Approaching the tomb, I was met by the specter of the Guardian himself. Eternity weighs heavily. I have a solution. I bear it in a tomb. But your moment of existence has passed. Come, and be released. Oh shit. We have a Guardian here that wants to kill us. <laughs> oh shit. I don't know if he can actually kill Raziel or anything, but it's... Aha! Got a long life bar. Ah, should have been paying attention. Aha! That purple life bar is kind of hard to see. Got a lot of these shadow bastards. Get out of his way when he does that. Come on. Which guardian is this? He's almost dead anyway. Like being dead. Stoot you well? Okay. Apparently, a single soul was not enough to activate this spirit vessel. Perhaps another specter was lurking around here somewhere. Yes, perhaps. Let's go search for one. Do I have to do this in the spectral realm, or can I do it in the material realm? Well, I guess not, if I gotta get to the doors. I was met by the specter of the Nature Guardian, monstrously deformed since its death centuries ago. Rejoice, creature, for today your spirit will return to the One. These are, of course, I would say these gotta be the first First, uh, Pillar Guardians, the ones that the, they were all vampires. Notice their fangs and wings and all that shit. I don't know how they died, but by the time of the opening cinematic of Blood Army, they were all just dead and had been replaced by humans. By human guardians. See if I can find some health before taking on the next one.
I don't remember, I don't recognize the different symbols, so... What guardian was this supposed to be again? I wonder how they died, though, because it wasn't really uh, established out. The souls over there. As the Reaver absorbed the souls of the Nature and Conflict Guardians, it was imbued with the elemental power of fire with which their principles were aligned. I was now equipped to reach the Pillars. You were equipped to reach the Pillars. The power of fire defeats all! Alright, let's get the hell out of here. How do I do that? <laughs> Gotta be something I can climb. There we go. That seems like it did it. Of course, the warp gate is not yet open. I have to find the things to go in. Ah, shit. <laughs> Stop changing my camera angle. I have to find the two things in which to use the. Or four things to use the fire reaper on to activate the warp gate. Come on, fire sconce. How do I light this fucker again? Ah, here we are. That's right. That was one. One. Just one. Have a fire, bitch. Stop in there. Ah, uh, now we gotta find the other side. I'm an idiot. Yep. How did I not see that thing? Climb the damn wall, damn it. One more. Ah, uh, give me a sec, I gotta go find it. Here it is, hidden behind rubble. There we go. Let's climb my ass back up there and get out of dodge. Stop running the pillars, Rezio. All the environments look the same, so using <laughs> Episode here, though. So, thanks for watching.